son of a bitch took my seat. That's supposed to be my seat. What the fuck is Floyd doing this? God damn idiot. Oh. Oh, uh, we're recording today. Well, that, that's today? Oh, crap, right. Um, well, hello, uh, audience. Uh, my name is Al Gore with Mike with the mic behind the camera, and welcome to the sequel of An Inconvenient Truth. In this documentary, we will be focusing on one of the greatest epidemics in modern world history, global warming. Global warming has been a major concern of the 20th and 21st century, and only now are we realizing its severe consequences, one being the melting of the ice caps. Glaciers make up 10% of the Earth's surface area, and along with land ice, global warming will cause major meltage, leading to a significant increase in sea levels. Increased sea levels will cause monumental damage to coastal cities such as London, Bangkok, and New York City leading to economical disasters. Now would be a great time to ask local residents their thoughts on this issue. Let's go find some. Hey, hey you, uh, can we ask for your opinion on global warming? Your thoughts, sir? Hey, sir, sir, come back, please. I'm begging, I'm begging. Okay, <laughs> what's your name, sir? Uh, it's D-Mike. Oh, uh, D-Mike, okay. Um, so what are your thoughts on global warming? Global warming? <laughs> That's a hoax. You know what Trump said, right? That's a hoax. Hey, we're not trying to solve other countries' problems, dude. It's not our problem, you know? America! Hey! Alright, can I have the mic back? D mic. Fucking okay, first we're dumb mic. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> dumb ass. <laughs> As you can see, there are actually people dumb enough to disclaim global warming, despite the countless scientific research that says otherwise. Crap, bro. We better get better luck with the next dude. There's one over there. Hey, sir? Excuse me. Oh, uh, what's your name? Oh, wait, I gotta show you this math problem, dude. Alright, how long is that gonna take? Wait. This thing goes dumb, too. And... Done. Uh, what do you want? Uh, yeah, we just have questions, you know, we just want to ask your thoughts on global warming. So, first off, what's your name? Uh, my name uh, is S. Mike. S. Mike? Okay. Yeah. Your thoughts on global warming, sir? Oh, um, you know, it's a very, uh, serious problem, um, you know, um, average uh, temperatures have, uh, you know, have been increasing by a couple of degrees uh, Fahrenheit. You know, CO2 emissions have been at their highest uh, they've ever been. You know, China is a big um, emitter. Um, yeah. Anything else? Well, better than the last dude. This guy was dumb as hell. He, th you know, he thought about some of these co some of these misconceptions. You know. Oh yeah, he probably thought. Um, he, uh, you mentioned glaciers. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, you know, uh, people think like uh, if glaciers melt, it doesn't do anything, but you know, it causes the sea levels to rise, you know, it could cause coastal yeah. flooding, you know. You know, it's pretty bad. Yeah, there's also more stuff in there besides just fresh water, you know, there's like CO2, which contaminates the fisheries, but no one gets that, bro. It pisses me off, you know. Hey, respect, bro. I respect. mean, smart, Mike, dude. All right, respect. Respect. Other than coastal cities, the ecosystem also has a lot to lose due to melting glaciers. This is because of the various minerals and organic carbon that is frozen within these glaciers, the most worrisome being organic carbon. Scientists are concerned about how this could affect the local marine life. Organic carbon is a prominent food resource for those in the base of the aquatic food web, like zooplankton, a preferred meal for fishes and birds. Now, the question is, how in a large base will affect the food web? Well, I guess one more interview won't hurt. Hey, there's one guy right there. Hey, sir, excuse me. Uh, we'd like to ask your opinion on global warming, sir, please. Yo, what you want? What hey, you want? Bro, I want to try with you. Yo, yo, what, what you want? What do you want? What do you want? I will hit you with this yo, mic. What you want? What do you want? Hey, please. come back. Ice, please. Come back. Hey. Come back here. Come back. Come back. <laughs> I want your opinion on global warming, please. Why are you asking me, man? My name is Ed Oshi. You should ask my brother. He's, a, he's an expert on this. What's his name? Eddie Oshi. Alright. Before we talk to an expert on this issue, we decided to go to the Arctic where we interviewed real experts who have suffered from glacier meltage, polar bears. Polar bears are an endangered species and we are very grateful to have been granted this interview. In the barren land of the Arctic, we witness the final moments of a polar bear. We call him Polar Bear Sammy. And here he is clinging on to the final moments of this one last glacier. Let's go interview him. Polar bear Sammy, have any words? Uh, you have any words you'd like to share with the audience? Uh, that's very sentimental. So how do you feel about this? Wow, you touched my heart. We feel very sorry for you and your family. Oh wow, okay. Oh. Well, we're trying our best to 
reverse the effects of global warming in your honor, okay? Wow. Touching words. Polar bear Sammy. Oh, I see. Oh, polar bear. Sammy! No! No! Sammy! Oh. As you can see, you witnessed the final moments of polar bear Sammy. May you rest in peace. Amen. Here lies the pride and joy of the Arctic, one of the famed and acclaimed polar bears, Sammy the Bear. He lies here, deceased, after the effects of global warming had taken a toll on his habitat and environment. The glaciers and ice sheets he once so proudly walked on have been reduced to an amount he can no longer live in. We need to take action. To prevent deaths such as this, we need to be more aware of the issue reduce our waste. As you can see, ice is still melting around the bear, even after his death. You know, Mike with the mic, I'm tired of this. We already got two idiots and a dying polar bear. It's gotta be someone with an actual background to global warming that we can actually interview. My name is Ed Oshi. You should ask my brother. He's, a, he's an expert on this. What's his name? Eddie Oshi. Eddie Oshi, his office is right here. Eddie Yoshi? I'm busy. You're not busy, bro. Can I help you? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we just want to see if we can share some facts about glaciers oh, melting. Yeah, with I us. can help you with that. Oh, thanks, bro. So, increasing temperatures can affect countless people and affect countless organisms as well as melt, melt glaciers. Melting glaciers dump massive amounts of carbon into the oceans and affect countless sea animals, which will affect human food sources. As a result, it can change the food web, and we don't know how different ecological systems will re react to a new influx of carbon. Oh, well, thanks, bro. That's some yeah, bad facts. No problem, man. Respect. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Overall, global awareness in relation to global warming needs to rise. It is this century's greatest concern, and it will continue to be so due to its harmful effects, the melting of ice caps and glaciers being one of them. Along with the melting causing the loss of habitats for species such as the polar bear, it will cause sea levels to rise, thus causing coastal flooding of coastal cities. Additionally, such flooding will cause a displacement of millions in cities such as Bangkok and London, along with costing billions of dollars in repairs. As a major cause of these events is linked to the emissions of CO2, a heat-conducting greenhouse gas, by man, solving such an issue requires unity and support towards change, which I believe is perfectly attainable. All right, let's see if we can do one more interview. There's one guy over there. Hey, excuse me, sir. We have a question for you. Uh, you know, for a documentary, please. Why are you running to- <laughs> Dumbass thing, I finally, that's- Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Here, rest the pride and joy of the Arctic. One of the famed and acclaimed polar bears, Sammy the Bear. <laughs> yes. What? Can you give us your thoughts about global warming, please? I should. Ben. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no.